Yes, ma'am. All right. You may start. Having yes, ma'am. Having conversation with others is quite beneficial and many people have a talkative nature. The same goes for me. Here, I would like to talk about my younger sister. Her name is Meena. In my eyes, she is the one who always likes to communicate with others. Uh, actually, she shares a special bond with me. She is 22 years old and she is pursuing her MBBS uh, degree and soon she will become a doctor. Moreover, being a chatterbox, she always stays full of beans and entertains others. She is being loved by all my family members as well as my neighborhood. As she is having a great sense of humor, she can lighten up uh, any tense situation. When it comes to the question of what she likes to talk about, honestly speaking, it is quite difficult for me to choose uh, any one particular topic because her talkative nature is not limited to only one subject. In gossips, she plays the role of all-rounder. Sometimes uh, she likes to express her feelings about the current affairs. And along with this, she is always uh, socially updated. Despite her talkative nature, she's a good listener too. All in all, she is a person who likes to talk and engages in diverse and interesting conversation. I like her the most when she does mimicry of Bollywood celebrities. I never feel bored uh, whenever she is around me. Usually, uh, people get tired while listening to others. But in her case, I love to listen to her. Uh, sometimes uh, when she is quiet, I feel something is wrong with her. And I do not like it. I feel fortunate to have a, such a talkative sister. And she is an intelligent person. All right. Um, it is two minutes, more than two minutes. Shashi, first, first uh, you know, feedback is that you were, you were very good today. Now that, you know, you are preparing for an eight or eight plus, there is a pronunciation uh, uh, point which you have to work on. Uh, can you yourself tell me what is your problem in pronunciation of certain words? Ma'am, no, I don't know. नहीं. Okay, O no. or O की मात्रा का difference पता है? Hindi. O. O. Or uh, O. Okay, O or O की मात्रा का फरक पता है आपको Hindi में? Yes, ma'am. कैसे हम कहते हैं? Uh, 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 kya, kya example do? Ek, ek to hota na, uh, jase hum kehte sona, sona means late na, sona, sona. Yar ek hum kehte hai, uh, 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 oh, 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 mein koi word. Anybody help me in that? I can't think of anything. Uh, okay. Chalo, word aega na, jo wahan pe karati hu, feedback ke time. Thik hai? Okay. Ek, okay. Part pronunciation is there, which you have done around 10 mistakes in the same pronunciation in throughout your two minute time. So wherever that comes, just put a dash so that you count the dashes and see how many times that pronunciation problem has come. See, if you will work on this one problem, around 8 to 10 mistakes will go. You get okay, my point? So just yes, one mistake repetitive is there. Otherwise, it's all very, very nice. Okay? So let me play it back and I'll let you know. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Having conversation with others is quite beneficial and many people have a talkative nature. It's not talkative. It's talk it all. See, you have said talkative. It is not talkative. It is talkative. Talkative. Okay. dash dal diya. Ab dekhna ek minute. And many people have a talkative nature. See, it's not talkative. It's talkative. Or talkative. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Same goes for me. Here, I would like to talk about my younger sister. I would like to talk about. It's not talk. It's talk. Talk. Or oh, I would like to talk about. Okay. 
Her name is Meena. In my eyes, she is the one who always likes to communicate with others. अपने ना always बोला always है oh. all okay. Uh, actually, she shares a special bond with me. It's not bond. It's bond. Okay, bond. अब ये words note करो मैं अभी dictionary खोल के आपको सुनवाऊँ okay. जितने अभी yes, तक. Yes, ma'am. मैंने underline कर लिया. अच्छा ठीक है. She is twenty-two years old and she is pursuing her MBBS degree and soon she will become a doctor. MBBS के बाद डिग्री लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज उसमें बैचलर्स वर्ड दो बार आ गया एंड बैचलर्स इज फॉर डिग्री ठीक है चैटर बॉक्स नहीं चैटर बॉक्स ठीक है एंड आगे इंडियम क्या बोला आपने She always stays full of beans. What does it mean? Means fully energetic and can entertain others. I would I would uh, suggest you to avoid idioms. Okay. Okay, ma'am. पता नहीं चल रहा था. एक मिनट. A degree and soon she will become a doctor. <coughs> Moreover, being a chatterbox, she always stays full of beans and. Being a chatter box, box दोबारा आ गया. Tastes full of beans. पता नहीं बेटे. I am not aware. Okay. Entertains others. She is being loved by all my family members as well as my neighborhood. देखो family members कर रहे हो तो वहाँ neighbors करो. Okay ma'am. As well as neighborhood नहीं. Okay. She is loved by family and. Uh, Everyone in the neighborhood, you can say a neighborhood, but family members and neighbors. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And, and she is being loved. Be galat hai. Being loved means this time, usko saare jane pyaar kar rahe hain. She is loved by. Usko saare pyaar karte hain. Okay. Being ni ana. Yes. She is having a great sense of humor. She is having ni. She has a great sense of. ठीक है. Yes, ma'am. She can lighten up uh, any tense situation. ठीक है. When it comes to the question of what she likes to talk about, honestly speaking, it is. See, when it comes to the question of off, नहीं है off है. Honestly नहीं है honestly है off. Honestly. Okay. Honestly. Okay. It's difficult for me to choose uh, any one particular topic because her talkative nature is not limited. Again, it is talkative. It's talkative. Okay. के के पे भी नहीं लंबा खींचना इट्स नॉट टोकेटिव इट्स टॉकेटिव ओके ओनली वन सब्जेक्ट इन गॉसिप शी प्लेस द रोल ऑफ कोल राउंड गॉसिप इट इज गॉसिप गॉसिप ओ मैम ओ की आ गई गॉसिप इज अ नेगेटिव टर्म गॉसिप इज चुगली ओके इन इन चैटिंग गॉसिप इज नेगेटिव ओके ओके गॉसिप गॉसिप अवॉइड करो और आपने बोला है है और वो नेगेटिव पूरी प्रोनाउंसिएशन गलत है टॉकेटिव है ठीक है बॉलीवुड I never yes, feel bored uh, whenever she is around me. Usually, uh, people get tired while listening to others, but in her case, I love to listen to her. Uh, sometimes, uh, when she is quiet, I feel something is wrong with her, and I do not like it. I feel fortunate to have. It's not fortunate. It's fortunate. Oh, fortunate. 
such a talkative sister. Talkative. And she is an intelligent person. All right. Um, it is okay. So, uh, Shashi, this this feedback, one feedback, okay, will go a long way. I know you will work on that. Okay, make a list yes. of these words. Or inko puro ko bol ke na ek baar mujhe audio bhejna. Once you are done with them, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. क्वाइट प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज क्वाइट Quiet. Okay. Q U I E T. Quiet. Okay. Okay. Now what you will do is you will speak out all the words. मैं आपको ये quiet की बता बताती हूँ pronunciation. Uh, एक मिनट. Let me share this. Actually, many students are going to benefit from this. Okay. I'm telling you honestly. So this is quiet. 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 अट अट एंड में सुन रहा है ना आपको यस मैम क्वाइट और वो जो आप बोल रहे थे क्वाइट क्वाइट हाँ वो ऐसे है क्वाइट क्वाइट और वो है क्वाइट अट क्वाइट गॉट इट और क्या बोल रहा फॉर्चुनेट ठीक है फॉर्चुनेट फॉर्चुनेट नहीं है फॉर्चुनेट है ठीक है ना ना अभी आप फिर गलत बोल रहे हो ओ फॉर्चुनेट फॉर्चुनेट ओ ओके ठीक है अब और वर्ड क्या था टॉकेटिव हाँ वो भी गलत है टॉकेटिव टॉकेटिव आप ना के टॉकेटिव आप ऐसे बोलते थे ओके इट इज टॉकेटिव इसको कहते स्ट्रेस इंटोनेशन किस चीज पे स्ट्रेस देना है दिस इज व्हाट मींस इट मींस ओके दिस प्रोनाउंसिएशन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और क्या वर्ड था मैम यही थे अलोंग तो अलोंग अलोंग अच्छा एक और भी था बॉन्ड 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 ओके बॉन्ड नहीं बॉन्ड ठीक है चलो गुड मैम मैं एग्जाम का फिल करूं बेटे मेरी तरफ से आप एग्जाम फिल करने के लिए वैसे तो रेडी हो बिकॉज आपके पास मैटर uh, कम नहीं है आपने यू सीन दैट इन योर होल क्यू कार्ड आपकी अदरवाइज ग्रामेटिकल एरर हार्डली वन और टू है वो बींग लव डेक एक आध जगह पे और है बस ठीक है सारी बाकी प्रॉब्लम प्रोनाउंसिएशन की एंड प्रोनाउंसिएशन हैज वन फोर्थ ऑफ द बैंड स्कोर इन स्पीकिंग सो यू गेट माय पॉइंट प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज समथिंग यू कैन वर्क ऑन अ स्टूडेंट लाइक यू आई नो यू यू आर वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग यू कैन बी परफेक्ट विद इन वन वीक ओके इफ यू टेक इट लाइटली इट मे टेक लॉन्गर पेपर आप अप्रैल का सोच रहे हो आप आराम से भरो यू गिव योर सेल्फ ए डेड लाइन वो तो बहुत ही ठीक डेट है आपके लिए बहुत अच्छी डेट है वेरी कंफर्टेबल ओके एंड मेक इट अ पॉइंट दैट इन एवरी स्पीकिंग क्लास टिल दैट टाइम यू कम इन ओके एंड यू पार्टिसिपेट ठीक है यस मैम थैंक यू मैम ओके सो नेक्स्ट प्रशांतन आर यू रेडी यस मैम Just give me one yes, second. Okay. Which cue card are you going to speak on? Uh, describe a film you watched or describe a film that impressed you a lot. Seventeen. Okay. Describe a film you watched or describe a film that impressed you a lot. Okay. All right. Uh. Yes. Start. Well, I like to watch. film during my lesser period uh, in this occasion if i want to describe about a movie i would say none other than pony in selvan just yes, pony in selvan is a movie which directed by mr maniratnam uh, i watched this movie uh, 
uh, last December uh, with my friends. I went to, went to this movie because I always like Mr. Mani Rednam. So I went there as usual. Mani Rednam played a, a good role, played very well in this movie. And he uh, narrated that story very well. And the entire screenplay was very good. And in addition, the, the, the movie talked about uh, Stola's period. So one of the uh, good... Uh, leaders in uh, in our ancient sense, century and he, he talk, the movie entirely talk about the solar period and in parallel he, he the story told storylines uh, made us um, great love love scenes especially the in the in this movie uh, most of uh, my favorite uh, indian artists played this in plays played in this movie and especially the Aishwarya Rai and Vikram played very well. Uh, as usual, Aishwarya Rai, whenever came to the screen, I felt goosebumps and the, how, 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 whenever she delivered the dialogues and the, her expression, all, make, all made me goosebumps. Altogether, that movie... Uh, entire movie made um, made me more happy and i felt uh, uh, really good in during that time so also that uh, so altogether the uh, be, me and my friends had the same uh, opinion about this movie usually we we had a different yeah. opinions but okay. still yeah okay Chantan, uh, well, uh, pronunciation problem is there for certain words. Okay, I'll be giving you the feedback while I'll be playing it back. Okay, otherwise, okay. This way. and which is a movie? I see. I think I've seen. Are there two two um, sequels of the movie? One and two. Yes, one and two. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I've watched this movie and uh, I really liked it, but uh, I I think it didn't do very well on the big screen. Did it? Uh, yes, yes. Did it do well? Uh, I, it I'm, fan, I'm an old fan of um, I sorry, Ryan <laughs> uh, Rednam's. So uh, that I, I felt I really liked that movie. Yes, yes, yes. The movie was I liked it. Okay, I watched both sequels, second one also. Anyways, let me now play. It. Yes. Okay. Well, I like to watch. Flame during my lesson. What I like to watch? Flame. Aap spellings bolo. Speak the spellings. F-I-L-M. Hmm. F-I-L-M will be film or film? Um. <laughs> F-I-L-M will be film or film? Flame. No? Flim. L-I would be... Play. It is not L L I M, right? It is it's F I L M film. So film. don't don't speak this word. I'll give you a hint. You can say movies. Movie, okay. Yeah. Okay, I like to watch movies. You are uh, doing a very wrong pronunciation of the word. Okay, okay. it is film. F I F L M L M film, not film. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yet, uh, in this occasion, if I want to describe about a movie, I would say none other than Pony in Selvan. Yes, Pony in Selvan is a movie which directed by Ms. Which is directed by, okay. Mani Ratnam. Uh, I watched this movie uh, last December uh, with my friends. I went to, went to this movie because I, I always like Mr. Mani Ratnam. So I went there as usual. Mani Ratnam played a, a good role, played very well in this. See, whenever you are talking about the story of a movie, it has to be in the present simple tense. Mani Ratnam played is wrong. Mani Ratnam plays, not played, plays. Okay? And he uh, narrates that story very well. He narrates. S. He narrates, okay? The screenplay was very good. And is, in addition, the entire screenplay is very good. It has to be in the present simple. Even if you watch it today, screenplay is good. Okay? Yeah. Uh, it is always good, right? Yeah. Okay. The, the, the movie talked about... Talked uh, about, uh, talks about. Talked about is wrong. Talks about. 
I totally they connect with the past tense, man. Yes. 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 One of a uh, uh, good uh, leaders in uh, in our ancient century, and he he talk, the movie entirely talk about the Cholas period and. Movie talks about the Cholas. Okay, Cholas. In parallel, he, he the story told storylines uh, made us. Um, Great love, love scenes. Special. So parallelly, the movie has love scenes also. Parallelly, word also pronunciation is difficult. Articulation is difficult. So say side by side, the movie also has many good love scenes. Okay, it has an element of romance. Romance. It has an element of. Um, it is a historical movie. Basically, it has an element of romance. It is based on uh, true events. Or not. I think uh, it's based, based on true to with the fiction, some fiction, some. Yes. Uh, in the in this movie, uh, uh, most of uh, my favorite uh, Indian artists played this in the plays. Play artists is plural, so play, not plays. Okay. Played in this <laughs> movie, and especially the Aishwarya Rai and Vikram. So you will not say the Aishwarya Rai. There is only. You, you will say Ashwarya Rai and Vikram, okay? Not the Ashwarya Rai. Played very well. Uh, as usual, Ashwarya Rai, whenever came to the screen, whenever, I... Whenever, as usual, whenever Ashwarya Rai comes to the screen, I feel goosebumps, okay? Goosebumps and the, how, 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 whenever she deliver the dialogues and the color expression, all make all made me goosebumps. Altogether, that movie, uh, entire movie, made uh, made me more happy, and I felt uh, uh, really good in during that time. So also, that uh, so altogether, the uh, be, me and my friends had. A... It is not me and my friends. It's my friends and I enjoyed the movie. Okay, me and my friends is wrong. My friends and I. All right. Okay. Okay. My uh, opinion about this movie. Usually, we we had okay, a different okay, opinion. Okay. You can say that usually we differ in our likes and dislikes, uh, but this movie we all liked very much. Okay. Well, um, I would uh, like to tell you, um, share today is one of my students has got a result. She's got a seven overall, a very, very hardworking student, online student. And believe me, she really, whenever I used to give her any writing task, I used to ask her to rewrite it. She would rewrite it two, three, four times even and uh, mm -hmm. send it again and again to me. And today her result came. She's got an overall seven. She's really began from five, five point five. Okay, and she she would do so many mistakes. I would tell her again and again, rewrite. Then I told she didn't have the books. Then she ordered the books because uh, she's very hardworking. She ordered the, and I told her that without reading, uh, you will not be uh, reading uh, too many essays. You will not have ideas. You will run short of ideas. She worked hard. It's not my credit in any student score. Listen to me now. If you score high, my, the credit you can give me is 10%. 90% is your hard work. Okay. I am supporting all students who join me. Okay. Those who work hard, they do get good band score. Okay. And uh, there are students here in my class today who are really, really hard working. Okay. So um, just to motivate you, I shared her result. And she, uh, that, you know, as, uh, the result really surprised me. She, um, I mean, I, I wouldn't have thought she would get seven overall. Uh, and she's got it. So she's really done uh, done great academic student. All right. Now, who is going to speak next? Um, may I? Yes, Manish, why not? Yes. Which cue which card are you going to speak on? Uh, I'll speak the cue card two. Which one? Two. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So... A place where I would like to go in future would be Bali, as I've heard that it is a queen of field. Uh, it is a queen of beaches, and it is very famous for tourist attractions. Also, uh, from India, it is very cheap because uh, if we go to uh, 
goa or any other beaches it would be uh, as similar as it if we will go to bali uh, uh moreover all those location are made up uh, made entirely for tourists and all the tourists uh, all the uh, citizens there are very friendly also uh, there are many famous uh, temples and monuments to visit uh i don't recall their names but i'll do some research once uh, when i uh, once when i'll plan to go there uh i'll go there with a bunch of my friends who have who also have an itchy foot just like me and we have made various different plan but uh, this one is, holds a very important place as uh, we would uh, we would go there once we'll get our jobs uh currently i have a job but one of my friend is get, getting uh, one of my friend is getting appointed after that we'll go so after getting there uh, we have planned certain activities which include scuba diving and bungee jumping uh, and i really wants to i really want to do scuba diving because uh, i have never done any water activities and being in the middle of sea with uh, some oxygen support feels uh, an, amazing, an amazing experience for me also uh, there are great place to relax which include like <laughs> i have seen that there are very great sunset and sunrise and it feels very pleasant to uh, to lie on the beach and watch watch, watch the sun uh, rise and watch the sunset uh, all the foods and uh, people around there are like very pleasant and i've heard that they are selling fresh fruits which is uh, very affordable and they serve in very okay, okay, okay. Uh, different I'm sorry. way uh, manish is... manish you've gone way way more than 2 minutes i'm i'm happy on one account that you can go on and on you never you didn't run short of ideas and you were going on and on that's a very very positive thing okay so today's speaking session i think will be a speaking session on the pronunciations there there are a couple of pronunciations where you went wrong uh, but on the whole you spoke very well okay and uh, and the way you spoke it uh, you know um, i think many of us would also start thinking of bali as the next holiday destination uh, is it cheaper i heard it's more expensive to go to bali no ma'am it's cheaper to go to bali than to go to goa Oh, because ho hotels are much cheaper in Bali than in Goa. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. And food also are very cheaper. Is it's cheaper? Okay. All right. right. Ma'am, you please don't go, ma'am. Why? I'm about to book my exam. <laughs> no, no, I am not going yet. Uh, I see. This is a, a bucket list. Putting that to her in the bucket list. Uh, okay. And uh, I'm here to support you all. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> when the when the when the see, I have got these three um, mischievous uh, four at present um, little ones, and we have to go anywhere. We have to really plan these naughty Nora, me too, and one more we haven't named yet. Okay, cutie pie. So I am going to play Manish's. Uh, uh you got and then we'll see where he went wrong in the pronunciations yes sir i'll like to go in future would be bali as i've heard that it is a queen of sea uh, it is a queen of beaches it is a queen of beaches queen of beaches okay and it is very famous for tourist attractions it is, it is very famous for tourist tourist attractions Uh, it's very popular. It is a great tourist attraction. It, 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 is, is, a... it is itself a tourist attraction. You can say it has yes, many uh, tourist attractions. Uh, it is popular, famous. We use for people. Okay, uh, mostly yes, we say popular for things. Okay. So, uh, from India, it is very cheap because uh, if we go to uh, Goa or any other beaches, it would be uh, as similar as it would if we will go to Bali. Uh, uh moreover all those location it are... would be as similar uh, uh, better would be it would be as expensive okay going somewhere within india uh, would yes. be as expensive as going to bali and the hotels there are also very cheap you can say like that in a made entirely for tourists and all the tourists uh, all the uh, citizens there are very friendly 
also. Uh, there are many famous uh, temples and monuments to visit. Uh, I don't recall their name, but I'll do some research once uh, when I uh, once when I'll plan to go there. Uh, I'll go there with a bunch of my friends who have who also have an itchy foot just like me, and you we... also have an uh, itchy foot. Itchy foot. Okay. Yes. I've made various different plan, but uh, this one See, is various and different. Use only one word out of the two. We have made various plans or we made different plans, okay? It's a very important place as uh, we would uh, we would go there once we'll get our jobs. Uh, currently, I have a job, but one of my friends is getting, getting uh, one of my... One of my is always followed by plural. One of my friends, okay? Friend is getting appointed. After that, we'll go. So, after getting there, uh, we have planned certain activities which include scuba diving and bungee jumping. Uh, okay. And I really want to I really want to do scuba diving because uh, I have never done any water activities and being in any, the middle of any is followed by singular. I have never done any water activity, not activities. Okay. Yes. <laughs> with uh, some oxygen support feels uh, an, an amazing experience for me. Also, uh, there are See, great... When you use words like amazing, electrifying, put life into these words. It would be an amazing experience for me. Okay? It would be an electrifying experience. Right? <laughs> Supposing you have a girlfriend and you tell you are very beautiful... Will it sound, or you can say, you're very beautiful, okay? What would be better? Uh, uh, the second one. Obviously, right? Yes. <laughs> very sorry. Relax, which include, like, I've seen that there are very great sunset and sunrise, and it feels very pleasant to... It is not pleasant. Let me check. It's pleasant, as far as I know. Yes, ma'am, it's pleasant. I mispronounced. Let us check. You know, sometimes, surprisingly, I have been proved wrong. Pleasant. Pleasant. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, to lie on the beach and watch, watch, watch the sun rise and watch the sunset. Uh, all the foods and uh, people around there are like very pleasant people people is a plural peoples is no word okay and i've heard yes, that they are selling fresh fruits which is uh, very affordable they sell fresh fruit okay fruit plural is fruit they serve in okay, very okay, okay. I'm uh, sorry. different way uh, uh, this manish it is a very, uh, only pleasant word. I thought a couple of words were only pleasant and on the whole, it was very well spoken. Well, I would not rate it less than a 7.5, but it's a very subjective marking. Okay. You've done well. Thank you. Who is going to speak next? Ma'am, I want to speak. Anu, yes, Anu. Uh, the 15, uh, 15th pukar describe okay. a photo. 15th? All right. Photo. Yes. All right. Start. So I'm a person who always like to take pictures of uh, different things, especially the nature. Here I'm going to talk about uh, a picture which I took last summer. Uh, it was the last summer when I went to Banaras with my family and uh, uh, weeks before the holiday i was uh, preoccupied with excitement and i was uh, ready to go uh, so when i reached uh, um, at banaras i wanted to take uh, pictures of my parents because uh, uh, they are someone who are one of my favorites and i really wanted to have some pictures of them uh, but i uh, took those uh, pictures without uh, giving any hints uh, to them because uh, uh, what i believe is uh, taking pictures uh, without any kind of uh, fake smile uh, 
so uh, whatever they were uh, doing like uh, participating in arti as well as uh, uh, doing different uh, kind of uh, uh, things related to our religion i was just uh, capture uh, capturing those uh, pictures i also um, took pictures when they were sitting together at the bank of uh, river ganga uh, banaras is uh, the business and i always uh, had uh, a dream to visit that uh, place uh, this place is uh, full of nature and uh, uh, I had an electrifying experience when I visited uh, different temples as well as uh, uh, when I sat on uh, the boat. Uh, it really gave me a, a feeling which uh, satisfied my soul. Uh, I, I, I never uh, edited that uh, picture and I never used any filter. Uh, I um, took that uh, photo with one of my uh, phone and uh, it really came out uh, a, a kind of a, a real picture. Uh, okay. no nowadays, yeah, I am no, having... It's it's two minutes, past two minutes. Uh, Anu, one of your phones, how many phones do you carry? Uh, Ma'am, I have only one phone, but I made a mistake. Yeah, so you'll say I captured the picture with my phone, which has a very, very uh, good camera in it. Okay, you can say like that. Right? Yes, okay, let me play it back. You spoke very well today. Very well. Okay, let me play. And did you focus on any one pic photo that you took or just or so many you talked about? And then you said I did not filter it. It is one. So I thought that one thing was missing, which which photo and then what your parents are doing in that photo, they're sitting, you know, focus on one photograph, okay? And say what all is there in that. You can say it's a picture of my parents sitting and there's a sunset at the back and it has really come out very well, okay? And I've shown it to so many of my friends and they've all told me to get a poster made out of that. So you can say like that, right? Yes. So I am a person who always like to take pictures See, of. Now this is another mistake, which is very common mistake. Anu, a person singular like no wrong likes. Okay, I am a person who likes to take. Okay, singular is followed by an s verb, right? Different things, especially the nature. It's not especially, it's especially. Especially, okay, especially. Particularly, speak the word particularly. Yes, sir. Say, speak it out, particularly. Particularly. See, they don't use the word especially. The, pro the pronunciation will come out wrong. Delete that okay. word for, for the IELTS purposes. Okay, say particularly. When you are saying especially, it would mean the same thing. Okay? Here, I am going to talk about uh, a picture which I took last summer. Uh, it was the last summer when I went to Banaras with my family. And uh, weeks before the holiday, I was uh, preoccupied with excitement. And I was... All right. Uh, ready to go. Uh, so when I reached uh, um, at Banaras, uh, I wanted to take uh, pictures See, of... Um... Reached word is not followed by any preposition. This is a common mistake which comes in the graphs also. When I reached Banaras, there is no at after that. There is no after uh, any preposition after reach, reached, visit, visited. Okay? Remember that parents because uh, uh, they are someone who are one of my favorites and I really wanted to have some pictures of them uh, but I uh, took those uh, pictures without uh, giving any hints uh, to them because uh, uh, what I believe is uh, taking pictures uh, without any kind of uh, fake smile. So you can say uh, when we uh, take pictures uh, uh, like that without telling the other person, the spontaneous uh, expressions, the other spawn, uh, the expressions are not uh, faked or made up. Okay, and uh, they are, their pictures come out much better. You can say like that. So uh, whatever they were uh, doing, like uh, participating in arti as well as. Uh, 
doing different uh, kind of uh, uh, things related to our religion i was just uh, capture, uh, capturing those uh, pictures i also um, took pictures when they were sitting together at the bank of uh, river ganga uh, banaras is uh, the business and i always uh, had uh, a dream to visit that uh, place uh, this place is uh, full of nature and uh, uh, I had an electrifying experience when I visited uh, different temples as well as uh, uh, when I sat on uh, the boat. Uh, it really gave me a, a feeling which satisfied my soul. Uh, I, I, I never uh, edited that uh, picture and I never used any filter. Uh, I um, took that uh, photo with uh, one of my uh, phone and uh, it really came one, out. Uh, one of my phones. One of my is always followed by plural. Okay. You can say one of my phones. Examiner doesn't know whether you have one phone or two phone or three phones. But uh, one of my is always followed by plural. Right. That is it. Very well spoken. Okay. On the whole. Yes, there were mistakes, but that's okay. You know, if you see the seven band descriptors, they have written that students may commit grammatical or occasional grammatical errors. And so that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Um, good. Anu. How much? How much may, may Definitely seven, not less than that. Okay. Yes, Dipali, you would like to speak? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sure. Ma'am. Okay. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Thanks, ma'am. How are you? Ma'am? Yes, Anu? Can I fill the exam form uh, next month? I mean, for the next month? Yes, sure. You must. And can word you have used wrongly. Can is for ability. Okay? You have money in your wallet. You have, a, you know, a laptop in your hand. Uh, of course, you are in India, so we'll fill it for you. You should say, if you are taking permission, may. Okay? Yes, can of course you can okay you can uh you are well prepared as far as i my reading goes and if you take it for next month you will have another 15 20 days with you that will be more than enough once you give yourself a deadline you start working a bit more hard right yes ma'am. that's natural okay for all of us okay okay ma'am may i start yeah, just give me one second. iPhone, you okay. put some uh, query in the chat box. But I would like to know who you are. You can write it in the chat box if you don't want to speak. You want ideas for two cue cards. Uh, describe a travel you were looking forward to but was delayed and describe a time and someone who did, did quite well in a team. Okay. What is your name? Let me tell. Tell me I'll put your name. Okay. It's very easy. Huh. Re-login. Don't do re-login. Tell me your name. I'll I'll change it. Okay. She's already relogged in. All right. Uh all right. So who's going to speak next? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Q card number four. four. Describe a uniform. Yes. Start. <clears throat> okay. Uniform is very important to maintain discipline in school and even workplace. Uh, uniform also make difference between employee and customer uh, <laughs> or also a student of different school. Uh, usually I am not wear, a, right now I am not wear any uniform, but I uh, wear once in the school. Uh, I'm very confused. <laughs> okay. This is why um, usually my parents brought a uniform for me alternate year because of my physical growth. Uh, the old one uh, uh, gets older. My uh, I had two uniform, one of uh, regular hours, and the second one was uh, uh, gym time. Uh, 
<laughs> in regular hours, uh, all school students wear white shirt with steel gray uh, bottom and uh, belong with a tie, belt, and uh, black shoes. The other one, uh, gym uniform has a blue trouser with a white t-shirt and sport shoes. During the winter time, I used to wear, uh, we had to use a uh, blue color blazer uh, with logo. It has uh, it uh, on the pocket and uh, it was my favorite one. Uh, because when I wear it, I look very beautiful and confident. So it's two minutes. Uh, Deepali, were you reading out or you were speaking on your own? I speak, but I'm really very confused. My heart beat it. No, no, then, no, no, uh, confused. See, we are all learning here together. Um, right uh, for the past 18 years i have been telling my students that we are all learning together we are all learning together okay and uh, <laughs> while while teaching i've learned a lot don't feel confused like that i just wanted to uh, you know know whether you were reading it out or you were speaking without looking at uh, any written part <laughs> were you reading it out i have my book but uh, i just see some uh... oh, don't, don't do that in future Okay. okay. It put the book upside down and speak whenever you have to speak next. Okay. Only then only then you will get the true exam experience. And Shashanti, Prashanthan, Manish, that goes for all of you also. Okay. Don't read out here because that will give a very wrong sort of practice. Uh, in the actual exam, you will not get to read out such lengthy sentences. Got it? So now the feedback, yes, so, uh, the the Pali. Which one was it? Mm. Uh, uniform, four one. Okay, uniform is very important to maintain discipline in school and even workplace. Uh, uniform also make different between employee and customer. Uniform also make different. No, no, no. Uniform also brings a difference between the employee and the employer. Okay. okay, bring, bring hmm. difference or, you know, uh, shows the difference. Okay, hmm. because employees will have different uniform, hmm. others will have different uniform. Uh, hmm. which uniform you wear, just go. Uh, or also, uh, student of different school. See, yeah. it is not student of different. It is students of different schools. Now, these essays give a very weak touch to your speaking, Dipali. You have mm -hmm. to work on your essays. Okay? Mm -hmm. Student. Okay? Like that. Mm -hmm. Usually, I am not wear a... Right now, I am not wear any uniform. But I uh, wear once in the school. No. Uh, I'm very confused. <laughs> okay. This is why. Um... See, you should uh, you should not confuse. Uh, you are making mm. it complicated for yourself. Okay. Mm. This is a uniform you wear at a school or company that you wear. Now you're. I'm not working now, but I'm going to talk about my school uniform and then explain the uniform. And then uh, you know you if you, you can say that I we don't have a dress code in the company I'm working, so I am. Here, I'm going to talk about my school uniform, right? Hmm. That hmm. we can start, okay? Hmm. Um, usually, my parents brought a uniform for me alternate year because of... Uh, usually, my parents, okay? Hmm. Uh, brought, brought is wrong, okay? Hmm. They, uh, they buy my uniform for me. Okay, they used to buy for me when I was in school. Okay, mm -hmm. like that. Physical growth. Uh, the old one uh, gets older. My, uh, I had two uniforms, one of uh, regular hours and the second one was uh, uh, gym time. Uh, uh, <laughs> 
इन रेगुलर अवर्स ऑल स्कूल स्टूडेंट का वियर व्हाइट शर्ट विथ स्टील ग्रे बॉटम सो रेगुलर आवर्स ऑल स्टूडेंट्स वियर नॉट स्टूडेंट ओके स्टूडेंट्स वियर लाइक दैट एस एंड बिलोंग विथ अ टाई बेल्ट एंड ब्लैक शूज the other one uh, gym uniform has a blue trouser with white t-shirt and sport shoes all right during the winter time i used to be a uh, we had to use a uh, uh, blue color blazer uh, with logo it has uh, it uh, on the pocket and uh, it was my favorite one Uh, because when i wear it i look very beautiful and confident okay. so it's two minutes all right dipali this is a marked improvement from what you began at okay <laughs> you've been working very hard and i can see that okay definitely between 6 and 6 point there were many mistakes of essays and all okay so i have corrected mm -hmm. some of them but i think you've got the gist okay and try to make as simple stories of your uh, you know uh cue mm -hmm. cards plan them all well okay ha ma thank you so, ma'am <laughs> all right so there was the in the chat box i can see there are two cue cards on which the student need some uh, you know ideas uh describe a travel you were looking forward to but was delayed so you can say that uh, last uh, last summer vacation my uh, we had planned to my family planned to take us to uh yeah we all plan to go i plan to go with my friends if you are uh, you know um uh, older or you can say my family planned my father and mother plan to take us to uh, name any place to goa or any other place you can say to delhi or some somewhere okay and uh, we we had to we we had hired a, a you know um a tempo traveler we were to go with on that and uh, there was another family with us my father's close friend and uh, there it started raining cats and dogs uh, the night before we had to leave and the rain was so so bad that uh, uh, the driver uh, uh, you know uh, there was a warning also so they he told us to um, delay our journey and uh, we had to you know uh, we couldn't leave that day because of the heavy rain and that actually happened with us once so i i can give you that idea or you can also say that uh, you had to get a connected connecting train from um, delhi and uh, your uh, you know first train was late and the connecting train had already left and so you had to cancel your tickets and you had to rebook and so it got delayed you can talk of something like that okay uh, is the idea good uh, describe a time when someone who did quite when someone who did quite well in a team okay so you can say that we all had a, you know to prepare a project in our school 10th or 12th you can say uh, a project on for a science fair and um, our teacher uh, made uh, four teams from our class and i was uh, uh, the team leader of my team and we had to make a project on something you can say global warming or something like that you just have to say that and then you can say that uh, we all uh, so i it, as i was a team leader i distributed the work and uh, you know so that there's uh, because team work is can be very very challenging getting work from all the team members so i distributed i chalked out i i put one of my uh, you know team members uh, uh, i sent one of the team members to the library for collecting ideas another one was to surf on the net and uh, the third one was to uh, type uh all the uh, you know things which we had to speak and then we made a model like that you can say so one of my friends in the team did very very well um he had a, he has a very good handwriting so he made the model very nicely and all you can just say did very well in a team or you can even talk about a dance program that you all took part and one of your friends did very well or you did very well okay like that Uh, are these ideas? If you you want to share any ideas, uh, go ahead and share. All right then, I'm calling it a day because Indru want would like to join now, and uh, your next class will begin. I hope you learned something in today's uh, speaking session. Thank you very much for attending patiently. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Right. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Ma